Hey guys, welcome back to Warcraft 1 with Senpai. Today we're doing Orc Campaign number 6, Sunny Glade. And... So there was one on the on the human side that was Sunny Glade too, and we had to essentially rescue our peasants. So this one's going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure what we do yet, and I'm a little scared to find out. But we're going to do it anyway, because that's what we're here to do. The humans of Sunnyglade have become fat and lazy with their prosperity. The town is like a ripe plum waiting to be plucked. You will march upon their weak human armies and smash them to pieces. Somewhere in the town is a tower that you must keep intact so that we may study how their magics are created. Fail me, and I will have your head on a pike at the gates of Black Rock Spire. Okay, so don't just murder everything. Keep a tower intact. Cool. Correctly, there was like the hard town was over here, and then we had to like run the the, the, the human town was over there. I really gotta stop saying horde of lions. Keep them away from that tower for like all that I can. 
beneath your feet is confirmation of your awesome victory! I probably shouldn't be cheering this, because this is a pretty terrible thing that we're doing. Although, to be fair, it's also really not good what the humans are doing. We're gonna go. So that was mission number six of the Orc campaign in Warcraft 1. The concurrent human campaign is, uh... Northshire Abbey, and then the next por the next orc one is the Black Morass. Now, the thing for Sunnyglade is nothing's actually been completely confirmed. Um, we know that this takes place in Elwyn Forest, but back during the First War, Elwyn Forest was a lot bigger than it actually is now, um, encompassing all of, also, uh, Duskwood, what is now Duskwood, anyway, in World of Warcraft. Um, it seems like Sunnyglade could be around what is now the Tower of Azora in Elwyn Forest, which kind of fits because it's close enough to a river where 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 you know Elwyn and Duskwood Duskwood actually separate. So it's quite possible, <laughs> um, but nothing's nothing's like really set in stone about this one. So on the one hand, I'd love to be like, hey, yeah, this is totally the Tower of Azora. On the other hand, I mean, it might be, but they haven't actually confirmed it yet. So it's really just speculation. And either way, we just kind of, it's just more fighting between orcs and humans. <laughs> I will make a note, though, about uh, mage towers, like specifically how we actually save one of these mage towers to like kind of figure out how certain magics work. That's not exactly a new thing, and they've they've kept that going throughout World of Warcraft as well. Um, basically, in terms of history, this is kind of like where a mage would study whatever the hell they're studying, which is usually magic at this point. Um, now, if you don't believe me about the mage towers actually being used at all, I'm going to direct your attention to Jaina Proudmoore, because she... That's what she built her town around. The town of Theramore is literally built around her mage tower. That's exactly what that is. Khadgar also has one out on Draenor in Warlords of Draenor. So this is something that has definitely been kept up. Uh, even Blood Elves have them. The only real people that don't are... I mean, dwarves don't really focus on magic that much, but Night Elves also... They're more druidic, so they, they commune with nature more. But there's still plenty of other human and other elven mage towers around, including Karazhan is a mage tower. It's a lot bigger of a mage tower than almost anything else, but it, it is still a mage tower. I mean, hell, our portal room in Stormwind is a mage tower, quite literally. I should also note that we have the mage tower in Broken Shore, so if you played during Legion and actually got to experience that, it's literally called the mage tower. <laughs> So yeah, that has been mission number six of the Orc campaign of Warcraft 1. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next week is going to be December, so I'm excited to pull out my ugly, awesome, super awesome Christmas sweater. It's great. I'm happy about it. I'll see you then. <laughs>